he got he Yo, got folks, we are live, folks. <laughs> what up, people? Welcome to the Black Wall Project. I'm Kamari Ellis, the host or one of the co-hosts along with the, the Black Dream Team, the Black Brain Trust here, the Black Wall Project. We got Tracy, Jimmy, and Corey. We're two members shy tonight. I'm not sure where David Ruffin is. Um, Courtney will be on shortly. I think David Ruffin might be out partying it up this week. This is the last day of Black History Month, so I know he's doing a bit. What's up, team? How y'all doing? What's Chilling. going on, man? Good, good. How are you? All's well. Matter of fact, my bad. I forgot to tell you what we're talking about today. All right, so listen, since it's the last day of Black History Month, we want to go out with a banger. So what is your top five Black History moments ever? All right, we're going to give all our top five or whatever you can put together, but what's your top five Black History mo moments ever? Like, people always complain, but y'all only talk about King. We only talk about Rosa Park. Well, now is our opportunity to talk about whoever we feel is important to Black culture and Black history. All right, so now that I messed that up and cleaned it up, what's up, y'all? <laughs> yeah, listen, man, uh, everything's good, man. You know, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out, like, you know, the video you want to show, man, because you like to surprise folks. I don't know if it's a slanderous or, you know, I have no idea what the, what's in store, but, you know, I know you always have a, a, a surprise for us. Absolutely. Got to keep it fresh. Got to keep it fresh. <laughs> you know? I want to get some more people in the room first, right? Because, you know, the clip I'm going to show, right, is from a person that gets the slanderous label a little bit. Very controversial. But Is he going show a clip of himself, by the way? Hold up. No. But okay. I, will say, oh, I, will say, I will say this. I will say this. He brings it home. And I think this is a great clip, this show for Black History Month. So I'm going I'm to go ahead and add it. Dr. Build Umar. America, black people built America. Chinese it, ain't build it. America, black people built America. Jews ain't build America, black people built America. Mexicans ain't build America, black people built America. Anglo-Saxons ain't build America, I built America. So don't talk to me about no damn minority set-asides, because I'm not no damn minority. That's for your immigrants. I was not an immigrant. My ancestors were important. My ancestors were important. My ancestors were not immigrants. My ancestors were imports. Remember, you didn't even consider them people. Remember, I am not an immigrant. I am an import. And as an import, there is no other group you can lump me in with. And black people, this is why we got to be unapologetically African. All right, y'all. So y'all see it. Y'all see it. <laughs> hey. Hey man, that that was a great one. I, I can't lie, man. I'm, I'm not listen. <laughs> first off, first off, shout out to Doctor. Yeah. I, I know he right. gets a slander, but the one thing I will say is, and I, I said this to our audience the other day, I know multiple families that he's actually helped in his field. Right? Forget all the other stuff he does, but when it comes to um, you know, what he does in, in psychology and helping kids in school, I can, I can, I could literally call multiple families that he's actually helped their child. So in terms of what he does, you know, salute to him. I mean, we all got jokes. I mean, and, I and yeah, I, I will say I've been, I've been, I'm guilty of some jokes, but I'll never slander the brother, right? Like I said, I'll joke, but I'll never slander the brother because of what you just said, Jimmy. He's done work. He's done work. He's actually done work. work. And but I will say this: if you don't have a Umar GIF or meme in your phone, I gotta pull your black card because everybody black should have at least one Umar meme or GIF that they can go to at any man, given listen. moment. Like that's that's a must. I, I I gotta say I have slandered the man because one you know he, he took money and then do nothing you know do what he was supposed to do with it so he you know he he caught my slander there but other than that you know I don't to be honest like I don't really have a problem with much that he says because I don't you know I'm not looking for perfection in the people that are doing the things I just want them to do what they say they're gonna do it's a difference between wanting perfection and wanting you to do what you say you're gonna do. So if, if once he does that, then my slander ends. That's Listen, it. man, perfection is overrated. I'm more about action than perfection. But hold on. We gotta but get he didn't do the action. That's the point. No, no, no. no. I, I get that. I'm saying in general. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get Corey his bars. That was a bar, Corey. I mean, I 1,000% I, I agree with you. I'm more concerned about the action. I mean, yeah, the intent is important, too, but I'm more concerned about the action. And you're 1,000% correct. Real quick, though. Tracy, those glasses are amazing. I just want to say that real fast. I said, well, yeah. I got to find my glasses in case, um, you know, the doctor's watching. She told me when I'm on screen, I got to protect my eyes. So, yeah, you don't want no beef with your eyes. Yeah, shout out to Dr. Archima. That's yeah. it right there, Tom Kamari. Archima. That's right. That's you right. got it. Tracy, 
talk to us. You quiet over there. Come on now. Black no, history last day. Just listening and just talking and just taking it all in. I mean, you know, there's so much that's happened that I don't know if I can pick five. I know right. he told us to come up with five. I got like yeah. 50. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, y'all come up with y'all best two. How about that? Two. Now two. we're recent. Oh, uh, but now you're gonna have a problem choosing, right? So now yeah, gotta- man, like yo, we gotta just talk about our favorite moments, man. Do we gotta put a number on it, man? Because I'm sitting here thinking of some stuff. I see I see Dwight, shout out to Dwight. I see him in the comments. He put up two, and I'm like, now I feel bad because he got two moments that I wasn't even thinking about. All my moments have something to do with like pop culture. Yeah, <laughs> was on one of my <laughs> Rock and Kamala was already on my at least two. See, y'all talking about Barack. Y'all talking about Barack. I'm thinking about Martin and Gina, not Barack and Michelle. So, like, (laughs) that was on my, like, his uh, first run in 2008. That was on one of my, that was my, one of my top five on on the list because I actually, you know, got off my, you know, my, my black power moments and I was, and celebrated some, something political. And then, you know, it kind of bit me in my ass because I don't think Barack Obama was a great president. And so now, but there is two parts to that. No, I think he was a great man, but I don't, I think, I think he's a decent man, but I think he was a, a shit president because he spent a lot of time bombing African countries. But that's just, that's just my perception of him. Uh, right, so hold on, so hold on. Let's not get too far. Let's not get too no, far. I'm gonna I'm keep it to. I'm not gonna get into the. No, 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 no. I I don't have a, with all presidents bomb African countries. So it's, no, not, no, it's, it's not specific to him. I would, that, I would, that, that statement I would, by I itself sounds crazy. But go ahead. I wasn't more than that. But what I was gonna say is, listen, we, I was trying to delay and wait for Courtney, but let's just kick it off and just go ahead and give it to us. All right. So this is everybody. Everybody. My bad. My bad. Let me start off. We starting off a little bit miscombobulated or discombobulated. We got to speak to the people. We ain't spoke to yeah. the people. What's can I make a comment, going? though? About Can I make a comment? Because I do want to make a comment, right? So the comment I want to make is that uh, Barack, for me, um, and shout out to Dwight for starting this conversation. Um, I'm not even talking about him as a president. To me, that's a moment because my grandmother was alive at the time, and she got a chance to witness that. Yep. And her feelings about it is what I'll always remember and cherish. It wasn't necessarily what he did or what he didn't do. But her right. seeing that and the story, no. she start, she got into her story bag and, you know, start telling me about when she was a kid and, you know, that kind of thing. So that that is that's, a moment for me. That's, that's what brought me out. You can escape that one, Jimmy. <laughs> no, to see all of those black people happy at one time was an amazing moment. So I'm yeah. not. I'm not it, going to me. That, it was that's the elders. Moment. It was the elders, the ones that have like yeah. lived through some stuff. All right, so hold on, y'all. Hold on. Let's speak to the people. Let's I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Hold that for a minute. And then we can jump right into it. Right into it. So let's speak to the folks. Let's not be rude. Latoya Marie, how are you? Yeah. Toya, what's up? CHS, baby. Hey, Don, Don. Don. We can officially start. Don is, Don is here. <laughs> hey, Andrew. Hey, hey Andrew. what's going on? The white, what's up, brother? White. So, yeah, he's he, starting he start off hard body. MLK yeah, I know. That. He made me. He made me feel bad about like you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, crowning. All right, I see you, the white. I see you. All right. <laughs> <He> <laughs> was, <laughs> was, <laughs> about Umar. <laughs> Umar was bugging. Now I gotta ask y'all: Do y'all want to see the clip again, or was once enough? No, wait a little bit later. Wait a little bit later in the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get some more focus. And hey, can't be. How are you? Yo, make sure y'all hit that like button and share the video, please. Yeah, but Mark, yeah, Mark was off the rails sometimes, but he was spot on. <laughs> I, I agree. And what I loved about that too is he did it with Tucker Carlson on Fox. So mm-hmm. hold I up, pretty- my que- my question is this: Was that real? I always thought that was like made up. I, I seen it online the last couple of days, but I don't know. If that, I was wondering whether that was real or whether that was somebody spiced it together. I don't know, but if, if they did, they did a great job. God bless them because it's still hilarious as hell and it's factual. So. <laughs> My ancestors were imported. They were imported. I want to say this is above me now. Carry on. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, hey, Monica, how you doing? Hey, Monica. Oh, see what ooh. I mean, man. Y'all come with yeah. the fire. That's yeah. a good one. That's a great one. Came with man. the great one. 
Kamari yeah. asked me. Kamari asked me earlier about my five, top five moments, and I'm, I'm thinking about like when when Martin and Gina got engaged. Y'all come uh, with. Yo. Y'all come with. Y'all come with yo, MLK yo. holiday. Oh, listen, you, I was, you I was, was, and Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson moonwalk too. That was a Michael Jack. Point. Michael Jackson moonwalk on Motown 25 is definitely in my top five. That's that's yeah. the only thing that solidified in my top five. Like maybe listen. Nas walking in a club and belly. Like that. That's yeah. a that's, that's a, a great a, moment in Black moment. history. That's a hip hop moment. That intro was that heavy. Is. Yo, yeah. that's crazy. Listen, Hype Williams body that. How about this? Snoop kicking down the buildings. <laughs> Yo, I, don't know. I ain't like that though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't like that. At the hey, time, man, I, ain't, I, ain't like, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, listen. That that changed hip hop forever, man. That song changed it. It got people cute, but it also changed hip hop forever. No, but the scene in Belly, the walking in the club scene, like that's 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 the illest walking I've ever seen in my life, yo. All right, well, let's spark it off. Let's spark it off, Jimmy. Go ahead first. What, I got go first. What's yeah. your Can I just throw one moment out there and then we go from there? Like, cause yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. come up with five right now. Um, I throw the one that's a guarantee: Michael Jackson moonwalking at Motown Twenty Five because I remember that vividly. It's like you know, sometimes when you get older, you don't remember like everything from your childhood, but I remember that one vividly. Um, so that's okay. a crazy moment in Black history to me, man. So, um, you know, we've been talking about Michael Jackson a lot. I have no idea why, but it keeps coming up a conversation. But that moment, I mean, he's Michael Jackson, so, <laughs> but right. that moment. That's a yeah. moment. No, that's definitely a moment. Um, uh, to for me, I got I got two sports moments that, and and even though I'm a football, basketball, you know, baseball kind of dude, you know, but the, the 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 two sports moments for me was FloJo and the in the '88 Olympics with the long nails, with the long nails, and going. Through and then in the 96 Olympics, when Michael Johnson broke the, the, the 200 record, he ran faster than any human alive. And then if you want to put a third moment on there to, to, to see the ball run and then look backwards at uh, Usain Bolt, looking backwards at the That field, was ill. That was the illest. That was like, so you want to talk about sports That's moments? disrespectful. He, yeah, he was running and then looking back at the crowd like, my man ran faster than any other human in history. And he was looking back at the crowd and goofing off, like I was like, damn, yo, that was the that was the illest. So those three moments right there, like I ain't even really a track and field dude. So you know watch. what? That's how we should have did it. We should have did it like you know, sports, entertainment, politics. But, we could have broke it down yeah. that way. Yeah, we could break it down. So for sports, those three, like, and the crazy part is, I only watch track and field every four years. <laughs> but with, with the 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 crazy, you know, when I do watch it, you know, those spectacular moments stick out for me. You know what I mean? And so Flojo with the nails, that was that was the illest to me. I was like, damn, like she running around. She looked like Lakeisha from down the street and she is dusting the <laughs> shit out of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so like and so that was a heavy moment for me. I was like, damn, like you can really be out here with nails you can't even wipe your butt with and dogging people. Yeah. And, and then Mike and, and then and Michael and Michael Johnson. You know, he he ran the two hundred. It wasn't nobody within fifty yards of my man when he finished. <laughs> and then the the thing about the Michael Johnson John was the camera flashes. Mm-hmm. Like so, they was in Atlanta, and all of those camera flashes when he turned the corner on the last on the last part when he was running to the uh to the finish line. It wasn't nobody near. Like when he crossed the finish line, they was just running the curve. Mm-hmm. He was he just the hell out of. And then again, you know, the Usain Bolt when he was running 100, and then he looked back at it. I was like, oh man. I got a sports moment that might not even be a sports moment, but when um, Whitney Hutton sung the national anthem. Um, Whitney Houston? Whitney Hutton. That was a, never mind. Some folks will get that joke. But Whitney Houston, when she <laughs> sung the national anthem, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, y'all don't get my Martin jokes. Y'all know, who, y'all know, y'all know who Whitney Hutton is. But that's who, that's who the, uh, again, hold up. You ain't uh, watch Martin? No, I've I, I seen about 20 episodes of Martin Total. What? Besides the Cosby show, Martin is probably the greatest black sitcom ever. Uh, I got a three. Sanford and Son, too. How about this? I've seen 200. I've seen almost every episode of Sanford and Son. I like Sanford and Son. I don't like. I, don't no, I love I love Sanford and Son. Oh, there's a great black moment when, when Fred, Sanford bought, Fred Sanford bought an apartment building. Called the Sanford Arms at the very end. Yes, he, he, he finally came up and bought an apartment building. That's a, a great moment in Black history. All right, let's get, let's yeah, get, I'm, I'm yeah. not really a Martin fan. So right, let's get Tracy. What? what you got, Tracy? Hold I'm on. Not, I'm not really a Martin fan. What you got, Tracy? What you got? Um, I had wrote down a bunch, but 
couple of them that we seen. I, I got on my thing, but um, who got right down? Franklin Rhines. Oh, I'm sorry. Say that again. Franklin Rhines. Who's that? I got a friend named Franklin Ryan, actually, but who is that? <laughs> he actually um, paved the way for Richard Parsons, but he was the first black CEO. Oh, oh Franklin Rainer from um, uh, Fannie, Fannie Mae. Yay. Yeah. Yes. Okay, all right. I was like, I, I don't know what's going on with your audio. R-A-I-N-S. I thought yeah. it was E-R. Huh? I thought it was E-R. Mm-mm. No, it was R-A-I-N-S. All right, all right. All right, all right. Him, I knew I knew about his story before Richard Parsons, so I was like, "Yep, him," because he helped shape the conversation for me. Okay. CEOs. I thought she was talking about Franklin from Snowfall, but I'm sorry. Go ahead. Now, so when we go to movies and television, we already have this argument regarding <laughs> the Harlem Renaissance. I mean, I'm sorry, the Harlem Knights. We have these arguments about. Uh, what was the other one with Eddie Murphy? Trading, 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 trading places. Trading places. Um, and then we have Coming to America. Um, hey, by the way, the new one's coming out this week, right? Yeah, it's out coming out uh, Friday. Yep, it's PG-13, though. I'm kind of disappointed in that. But let's see the hangover there. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Right. Yep, yep. March 5th. Private, private showing. We all here. Um, and then from a television show perspective, I know we was talking about Different World, Cosby Show, um, Sanford and Son. Um, this is the fish don't fry in the kitchen. Oh, know? the Jeffersons. Jeffersons. Oh, the Jeffersons. Oh, yeah, forget, can't forget them. They're <laughs> iconic for black television. Yo, Rich a troll, dog. <laughs> Rich is a troll. He goes about and moonwalking. <laughs> and moonwalking the movie on VHS. Yes, we're adding that as well, sir. Thank you. Yo. Yo, Rich, Rich a troll. He <laughs> ultimate, <laughs> ultimate <laughs> troll. Crazy. But, but, but hold on, though. That, that's 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 some some amazing yeah. material right there. Yeah, it is. It is. But man. listen though, man, y'all gotta give uh Sanford and Son his props, man. When, when when Fred G. Sanford bought an apartment building, man, that's black wealth and it's black history. So I agree. I agree. Yeah, I mean, I, but then again, if you talk about the Jeffersons, my man was his own business owner, you know what I'm saying? His, yeah, you know, his condo. Owned the cleaners, yeah, owned the condo, you know what I mean? Like George Jefferson was he had black listen, employees. And the crazy part is the spin-off shows that came from that. So like two two seven and and, and and all of those shows was spin-offs. Of of so what what the was the Jefferson, what was the Jeffersons a spinoff from? Archie Bunker. Oh yeah yeah Archie. all in the family. All in the family. All in the family. <laughs> and so shout out to George Jefferson because he be on Archie Bunker. You're all in the family. You calling him a honky too? <laughs> on on TV that was that yeah, was wild. Yeah, yeah that was. Then again, if you watch some of the stuff Archie said back then, boy, yeah. <laughs> Archie would have got canceled. Like you know. Oh, that show would have that had two shows. The first yeah. show, and then the next show after he started saying that, they would have like, so, Kamari, right, why don't you give us some moments, man? You ain't throwing no moments out there yet. I, I was waiting for y'all. I was waiting for y'all. All right, here, here we go. Here we go. I got a couple. I got a couple. So these are in no particular order. All right, so I got the Haitian Freedom Revolution. Ooh. I got Nanny of the Maroons, that whole revolution. Oh, man. Y'all come I got heavy stuff. I got Reginald Lewis purchase of TLC, uh, Beatrice, or purchase. Uh, Beatrice for a million dollars. All right, we got Reverend Leon Sullivan's ten thirty six plan. Oh, yes, sir. That's All right, we got Ghana's Ghana's independence um, mm-hmm. from Britain when that was the 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 crowning of Kwame Nkrumah, who was considered the godfather of Pan Africanism as well. Mm-hmm. All right, we have Muhammad Ali's the flying the draft. Um, it's a major Black History moment to me, and and I just added these two because we were talking about sports. So I got Tiger Woods winning the Masters. I love yeah. to play golf. Yeah, and I also got Jesse Owens um, killing the Olympics in Germany. Thirty six. Yeah, y'all come with the extra heavy stuff, man. Y'all got me yeah. feeling like a peon, man. I'm like, you know, <laughs> man, it's, it's, um, ain't, no, ain't no reason to feel no tight way, man. We all right. got different things. It's just a means, I mean, but cool. listen, I, feel I mean, I could, I could, have, I could have said Marcus Garvey having like a, you know, um, a company minute. that's traded, but you know. <laughs> was, was you and I actually was a black star actually traded? I know well, he, had well, he has he did sell stock, but he it was unregistered. I mean, it's one of the reasons yeah. he got in trouble. And, um, and one of the reasons the SEC was created, too, <laughs> yeah. you know. So, 
But the, it's funny, right? It's a history fact. The SEC was created. And the first um, director was um, Kennedy, uh, Kennedy's dad, who was a major bootlegger and a major um, market manipulator as well. Yeah, he, yeah he was. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just funny how incestuous those circles are. But no, I mean, I came up with that list because I did kind of spring it on y'all at the last minute. My apologies. But we was having a hard time. Like y'all getting to see the sausage base now, folks, right? So a lot of times we try to come up with ideas on what to do, and we didn't come up with one. And I said, well, all right, well, let's end, let's end Black History Month off with the back. Because I'm tired of people saying, like, I'm tired of hearing about Martin Luther King. I'm tired of hearing about Rosa Parks. Well, the only reason those people get so much play is because we aren't promoting other folks. Okay. And, like, now, I, I, and, now that, and now that we basically can be the media, do media, are the media at this point, we can pick who our heroes are. We don't have to go with the systems and, and mass media's heroes. So that's part of the reason why I chose this. I was going to say a top five moment is Sister Soldier dropping the coldest winter ever. That's a yeah. top five moment. Oh, man. Man. Yeah. 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 You, know, you know what, Jim? You've been talking about Sister a lot, and I've read, I've read the first one. I didn't realize that there was more. What? And I've read every word she's ever uttered. Yeah. I, I, I know. So I'm a I, fan. I, I, and thank you for making me aware of oh, that. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go back in and reread all of them. I wish yeah. they were on Audible, um, but they're not. So. Shout out to Midnight. Midnight is a legend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know what's funny, right? So every every um February, like Monica goes in and she writes these things on her page uh, about people in Black history, and she put one up the other day, and I actually shared it on the bottom of her page because I never knew this story, and this is an amazing moment in Black history. Let me pull it up real fast because oh, the boy I had. Yeah. From yeah, you Cascade. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah, I didn't know that Cascade was invented by a black man. Did you guys know that? Mm -hmm. The the uh the dish detergent? I didn't yeah. have no idea. Yeah, well, I didn't know that Cascade, yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. damn, like I, yeah, I, no was, I was I was dumbfounded to the it to was the by a, a brother named Dennis Weatherberry. He was a PhD. And I yeah. before we move on, I want to make sure that we actually uh acknowledge that this is soldier's uh book. For the sequel, the coldest winter ever has already been released. Life after death. Oh, oh that's not a day. I had it. I pre-ordered it, so it should be in my. Uh... Yep. March actually March the second is technically when it releases to the public. But yeah. Now, Jimmy, you said you pre-ordered. Who'd you pre-order from? Putting mm. on the spot. Mm. What'd you say? Mm. <laughs> you trying to play me? But I don't. I'm trying. I'm trying to get angry. I'm, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna go on down to. Uh, to Uncle Bobby's in, in order. Oh no, I didn't buy it from an actual bookstore. I, you know, I think I pre-ordered it on Audible. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh wait a minute! So wait a minute! It's an audio book for the new one. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, nah, well that's cool. I get that. Yeah. Yeah. So, you can uh, oh, it's okay. Me. It's okay if he ordered it from Audible, but if he want, yeah, I mean, you I mean, it's weirdo. Weirdo. no, 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 <laughs> Amazon. No, you're you're weird weird. Weird. no, you're more weird than me. But, <laughs> <laughs> but. But listen, listen. For the record, Audible is owned by Amazon, but you really there is no black outlet for that. So that's why I was like, okay, hi, Courtney. Courtney, thank you for joining us. I just got I got on and somebody got called a weirdo, and I'm like, yeah. Oh, listen, that's, that's, me, and Kamari, Kamari, wrong show. that's me and Kamari yeah. saying hello. Yeah. We are. Yeah. Listen, y'all know Corey and Jimmy B uh, verbally abusing. Oh, me. what yeah. I got to do with that? I ain't calling yeah. you a weirdo. <laughs> Jimmy had nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with that. Gang, gang, gang all day. Listen, I mean, man. Yeah, hey, first of all, Courtney, how are you? I'm okay. How are you guys? Ah, uh, because you know I've been looking for you for like hours at this point. Yeah, like we want to make sure you was alright. You, you know? looking for me for hours? Was I supposed to meet with y'all today? Oh yeah, you were. But I yeah, mean, that, we, we could talk about that after this though. We had to do that on air, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah you were. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, the daggers come out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but yo, listen, Courtney be hitting up with bazookas. Okay. That's true. We, 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 Tracy knows. I called Tracy earlier, and it was just like, yeah. But thank uh, you for joining us anyway. Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, it's, it's all good. We st it's, it's no love lost. We still it's still, it's, it's still all here. Gotta <laughs> Gotta <laughs> Yeah, so listen, folks. <laughs> Don said the blue here. the blue check is here now. So we yeah. here now. Oh man. Jimmy's here. I'm here. Malik's not here. So listen, all y'all send well wishes to Malik. I don't know where he's at. Hopefully, he didn't pull a David Ruffin and go out. Like <laughs> he trying to sell tickets to uh, to today's show <laughs> tomorrow. 
So you know, hopefully he's all good. Hopefully he's all good. Hold on, what day that is that is a great listen, man. You oh, that's a moment great. in Black history. That is, that is a he was great in Philly. Movie. He was in Philly too, wasn't he? Yes, West yes, Philly. He was. He, oh, he was West Philly. David Ruffin. Ah, yes, he was. Yeah, man, yeah. Philly, <laughs> Philly must got that butter because wasn't ODB in Philly on like Diamond Street when he OD yep. too? No, no, no. Oh, yes, he was. Yes, yes he was. He was yeah, in Philly too. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh damn. Yeah. Y'all, y'all be wilding out here, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> gave him that pure. <laughs> All right, Courtney, now, you, now you're here. You're here. Do you have any Black History moments that really stick out for you? Don't worry about it being five. Anything that comes to mind that really impacted you? What do you think? Um, that's a really good question. Hold on, let me see something. Like, all right. So, the props. Yes, I. Really? It just happens to be like in my bedroom. So, this is a picture of me with the West Virginia Supreme Court. Okay. Nice. So, nice. Now tell us about that moment. Tell us about it. I'm about to tell y'all. I'm excited. Yeah. Now. Very first. So um, I went to I went to law school in West Virginia. Um, as you can imagine, there's not that many of us there. Um, <laughs> that being said, um, they have West Virginia University College of Law has what's called the George C. Baker Cup, and George C. Baker Cup has been running since the '60s and Prior to 2011, only one black person won the award, which is it's a appellate award, appellate advocacy. So you have to submit a brief. In addition to submitting a brief, you have to um, do an oral argument. So there's three or three or four rounds of oral argument. So in 2011, I became the first African American woman and the second African American to win the award. And as you can see, it's actually um, rated and judged by the West Virginia Supreme Court. So in law school, I had an opportunity to argue in front of a state Supreme Court that a lot of attorneys never get the opportunity to. And I did so as a black woman in my black excellence. So that's my favorite black history. Hey, hey. Listen, I ain't mad at that at all. I ain't mad at that either. Yeah. Yeah. Actual, actual history. I just, I'm just I was out here. I was out here making pimp history, but you was out here making yeah. regular real history. history. I'm trying to find a picture of me coming out of night on Broadway. And right. <laughs> that was that's the moment in Black history. Coming out of Fox Valley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find some, some pics of me coming out. Of, uh... All right, so let's catch up with Sabordi's uh, Sabordi's garbage, y'all. Oh, that was that was classic though. <laughs> yeah, getting the celebrated courtside that definitely made history. Oh, yeah, oh, that, yeah. yeah, that was definitely that was definitely crazy. Number four, D, uh, D won in the Oscar for uh, Denzel. Yep. Now the white, yeah. I saw you had somebody else up here, quarterback. Uh, Doug okay. Williams. Doug Williams. Doug Williams. Yeah, I, I didn't want to that one, but, uh, Yeah. All right, so Prince coming to the stage with slave written on his face. Yeah. yeah. That was, yes. that was crazy. But if we're talking about if we talking about Prince, we're talking about history. The man came on stage with his booty out, so that was. That was just <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know how it positive that was. I mean, he made diamonds and pearls, so he could do whatever he wanted to do. Yeah, right? Prince was a businessman. Ooh, like he was your born on these backflips. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, that, that was hard. hard. That was yeah. hard. Yeah, yeah. that was yeah. crazy. <laughs> I, I I thought that was intentional, but I was going. I was I was oh. going to slide. Oh, Monica. Okay, so Monica put it, put it in. So Tyler Perry actually having his own studio. Mm-hmm. Correct. That's major. Yeah. <laughs> Oprah, Oprah's major as well. Well, listen, as well. If we're going to talk about somebody having their own studio, we, we need to talk about Tim Reed. Yeah, he, uh, he's had one. And Tim mm-hmm. Reed has had his own studios and been putting black people on since the 80s. I mean, I know a couple cats in North Philly got their own studio in the crib, but never mind. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Right on now, this is a, now, Corey, I know you don't know this because you're not a Martin fan, but this is a Martin classic, right? He here. knows this one because because we, yeah, this, because is part of our, this is part of our, uh, you know, what, what we do. So he knows this one. This is a, yeah, I, a yeah, punchline. I know this one. And it's the, a bodyhood punchline. The, 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 uh, the Tommy Hearns. One and a, and a few others I've seen that that you know those are actually funny. Well, but. hold on, real quick, real quick, Courtney, are you a fan of Martin? Yes. Okay, okay. I'm just checking because because you you missed it earlier. Corey was telling us how he didn't see like Martin episodes, and I'm like, how's that possible? Listen, I'm I'm only on season two and a half of The Wire. Oh my god! 
Y'all, yeah, we need a moment of silence for that one, y'all. Like, <laughs> I was actually, I, I mean, I, I'm gonna shut up, but uh, listen, you know, that, that's I, the, I, I didn't, I didn't have time to watch the wire. I know, that's all understandable, but, but I mean, the wire I, at this point, forget when it came out. The wire has been like you've been able to watch it for years. The wire is the greatest single piece of American cinema that exists. Yeah. See, there, there you go. I just gave you a Black History moment. Yeah. Yeah, Black History moment. I mean, listen, the wire is so thorough. It's got us on IG page. Yeah, it actually, it actually spawned so many other movies in its stead. Like, okay, it was, I mean, I, I believe y'all. I, I don't, you know, there's nothing. There's, there's, there's. I'm not gonna argue with y'all about it. Y'all, y'all are right. I just, you know, I get it. I didn't have HBO at the time, so I understand. Um, really? I wow. Just, I, owe, I didn't know that. I had I owe Comcast. Like I told, I haven't. Uh, I haven't told you yeah. guys. I, yeah. I'm yeah, I was sorry. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a fan of a lot of stuff, but like, uh, if if it came on TV, most of the time I didn't see it because I'm not I'm not a big fan of a lot of TV shows. So it's 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 pretty pretty much if it came on TV for the most part, I haven't seen much of it. If if it's not before, like I've I've seen a lot of '70s and '80s stuff, but like once you start getting into the '90s and in the 2000s and after that. I really don't watch. Like, I didn't see Game of Thrones until season seven. I, I actually watched season wow. one. Watched Listen, that show I watched. That I show. watched all of it at one time because I didn't want to sit through eight seasons of it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, Corey, you saw show, like you saw TV. You were watching TV in the seventies. I mean, I, I mean, yeah. I mean, my 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 parents, my parents were big TV fans. And my uncle was a DJ, so I spent a lot of time around music and so the TV baby set TV. So 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 you're just old old. Yeah, I'm I'm very old. Hold up, mind, hold up. Mind, your, mind your business. Hold oh, up. You you were oh. watching TV in the 70s. You know what's I funny was, though? A lot of times, like you'll see something and you think that you watching saw TVs in the set. I, I used to watch cartoons a lot, so I, I have a, a big catalog of cartoons. You wasn't you weren't alive that many years in the 70s, did you? <laughs> You wasn't like that many years in the seventies, man. I'm probably, I'm probably the only one that. I, I, I distinctly remember watching cartoons as a young child because that was a big part of what we did every weekend. So I remember watching car cartoons in the seventies, in the eighties, early in my early early years because right, well, that was that was part of my routine. Let's get the right. I can't. Y'all breaking up. I can't hear nothing y'all saying. Yeah, let's get back to the rest of these comments. So. Latoya says in real life, Archie Bunker had a black wife. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Yes, he did. I didn't know that. Not at all. I didn't know. All right, Elizabeth's here. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey. Elizabeth, how are you? Diane Carroll. Hey, Tracy Barry, how are you? Yeah, hey, Tracy. Hi, in, in, the, in the movie Julia. <laughs> I, I don't remember that one. That's because uh, you wasn't that's because you wasn't watching TV in the 70s. <laughs> Hey, I thought it was Dynasty or something because I know she was on there, but who knows? I got a moment for you guys. Um, yo, uh, oh, hold up, Will, Will dropping bars. Always, Will Cooper here. Somewhere around 2650 BC, the creation of the Egyptian social and spiritual system of Mayat, 1831. That yes, 1831, Matt Turner Rebellion, the birth of Ida B. Wells. Yes, Ida B. Does not get the credit she deserves at all. Um. 1966, the formation of the Black Panther Party. 1994, Nelson Mandela being voted. That was great. That was a that was another moment where I and saw a lot Mandela of black people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a moment that I saw a lot of black people happy. That wasn't just uh, wasn't specifically a Black History moment, but when OJ got let off. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah. now I don't know how to define that as a moment, but all I know is it, it was a gang of black people happy as hell. <laughs> Bro, I was I was at an HBCU at the time, and yeah. folks ran out of the dorms and was yeah. like slamming pots and pans and partying. It was a party. It was a party on Lincoln's campus, and you know, so that was, Yo, the, it was the craziest listen, thing. I went to a, a a a definitely primarily white college, and it, I the white people was on suicide watch. It was crazy, and all of the black people. We was in the quad dancing, like like it was like it was crazy, like it was absolute madness. Because it was only like a thousand black people on the campus, and seven hundred of them was in the quad that day when we was when when OJ got let off. So it was absolutely it was it was a mess. I thought I, we can file that one under the the for the culture moment. 
Yeah, because yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, I couldn't define what kind of moment that was. Yeah. But OJ getting let off was definitely a moment. Absolutely. Now, Don, yeah. the superstar has arrived, and then Monica said, "I got to add Courtney to my list next year." So, yeah, she definitely. Yo, Monica lives be fire every year too. She be bringing up people I never heard of. Speaking of Monica, killing. I was just laughing when he said Ida B. <clears throat> excuse me, Ida B. Wells. That's her. Uh, her Peloton name is Ida B. Swells. <laughs> I love her. I love it. In the bike, in the bike, Monica. The bad boy ride was fire. I heard it was too intense. All right, so get through season two, Corey. It gets better. Um, I don't know. Season is season two the year of the college. It was dry. no season two is season two of the wire. Right. That's that's the docs. Um, that's the docs. Yeah, yeah. Right. That, but it's necessary for the overall arc of the story. It's definitely necessary. Yep. <laughs> I'm All catching right. this slander, and it's it's fine. Elizabeth, Elizabeth says when old Kanye said George Bush don't care about black people, that's a fact. For the culture, yeah. I saw that in real time. I was like, for yeah, the we culture. all we all did. We yeah. all sat there with our mouth like, oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, <laughs> TV because of Katrina. So we were all sitting there and we were watching the levees and oh my gosh. And then he was on there with Mike Myers, and that's the greatest part about it. Mike Myers' face is the greatest part of that whole scene. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he looked like he just pooped his pants. He's like, whoa. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I found it interesting. There were black people that were mad at Kanye for making that statement. Again, yeah. they said he was an embarrassment. And I'm like, what? No. That's crazy. Listen, man, you never please everybody, man. No. But it was definitely for, and that was the Kanye that was the college dropout Kanye. So that, that was, was Kanye, that was Kanye with his mom still. You know, she wasn't. She, I think she was still alive at the time, wasn't she? Yeah, mm -hmm. she was alive at the time. Yeah, so that you know, that's that's that was that was that Kanye. Okay, so let's for for the moment let's make a big announcement, right? So the Williams family now has another Peloton machine. So they no, 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 no. She said I can't wait to get it. She said I can't wait to get it. We don't have one, said, but it's coming, right? It's coming. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. I'm a tread. I'm a tread guy. I got nothing to do with that. <laughs> nah, that's what's up. Listen, man, health is wealth. So I'm I'm joking about it, but I I love it. I love congratulations. It. Exactly. Yes. Whatever yes. it takes for you to get the uh, health goals, that's. All that matters. Yeah. All right. So Willis said he was in Houston all. I'm through Houston all. Wow. Man. Wow. So, so that's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, Man, we got a lot of black history moments, y'all. Yeah, we do. Yeah, it's because black people dope as hell. I mean, listen, I'm about to give you a musical moment when Black Thought beat the hell out the out the microphone on, on Flex Show at the end of 2017. With that, ten, with, that, with that 10 minute freestyle, yeah. yo, I still play that joint today. I listened yeah. to it, yeah. I listened to it this past week. That's crazy. You said that, baby. Yo, so, that, no, that, but, that, 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 re, that freestyle redefined how people do freestyles. But you know what's funny about that whole situation? Black Thought's been a beast, he's been in my top yeah. five for a long time, but people didn't recognize him before that. I mean, I bet, but I bet no, it's reason. What's context for that, he, though? When you're part of a group. Yeah, and plus, he it's not that people didn't recognize him because he was already on the Tonight Show, so people recognized him. He they didn't just rec they didn't recognize how great he was at what he did. did. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's, it's not that they didn't recognize him, but because he, he, I mean, but yeah, but listen, when you when you when you're part of a group and a lot of their albums are themed, like it, it's difficult to see somebody just like go off like that. So I get it, I get it. Um, but but you're right. Your overall point, Corey. Like you know, it is dope. There's so many dope moments, man. Now, see, I got another moment in Black history. Uh, Tyrone, so Tyrone, everybody. What's up, Tyrone? Well, That's what I was getting ready to give Tyrone a shout out when Tyrone pulled up last week to you know correct, yeah. to, to correct Kamari say, live I on see air. What I see. That's an amazing moment in Black history. <laughs> Y'all see the right? Y'all see the slander. <laughs> and the camera like no. What I see. <laughs> and I meant he was what like, I if see. you watch Drink Chant, he, he, he came. He pulled up to tell you. So I thought that's an amazing yeah. moment. He, he, had, he definitely had that Omar energy about it. He definitely. <laughs> no, now, now that I do remember about the wire. Right. Omar with the whistle. That's the one part of the wire I can never forget. That whistle before he killed people. 
like I was like, damn, like that's kind of weird, but it's kind of dope. Like, like you know, you bought the Omar's coming, and, and people kept saying, it, and I was like, damn. And then he really, you know, was robbing all of the, <laughs> the drug dealers. Like that was. Oh, uh, Don, yeah. whose code did you use? You you ordered a Peloton. Whose code do you use, Don? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ooh. You gotta give people their clothes because they need to get their Peloton gear done. Like our expensive gear, like how else you want to? Wait a minute, wait a minute, Tracy, did you get yours yet? I didn't. I ended up canceling the Generation Three because it was during the pandemic and it was taking too long, and then I reordered the one. So I'm just waiting on the one. Mm, okay, all right. What up, Wayne? How you doing? The juice. Wayne was good. <laughs> the juice was definitely. <laughs> Yo, the juice out here still wild to this day, man. Like he yeah, need to get got locked up for beating people up for getting his Heisman trophies back. He was- oh, and I think that's the craziest. And I think that's like the other side of the game because when OJ got off, like I don't, I think it was just kind of like Johnny Cochran, and it was OJ, and it's like the black man beat the system, whatever yeah. was going on. And then it's like for you to get got, you got got like that, sir. Like you got like real jail time. Yeah. You know they're looking for it. You know they're trying to get any reason whatsoever. Yeah, and, and, and oh, Moore said he, he he held me hostage. No, he gripped you up because you stole his trophy. But they took they put my man up for a terroristic threat and a they gave my yep. man a nine year bid for for basically him and somebody else. I mean, listen to Courtney's point though. That's a moment in Black history too, though. The whole OJ trial when everybody found out how ill we already knew how ill. Uh, but when Johnny Cochran like did his thing in the OJ trial. Like um, that right there is a moment in Black history. Yeah, man. Well, yeah, Johnny Cochran was absolutely. But going, back to what, but going back to what Corey said with the OJ thing, with the the subsequent thing, right? He went to the hotel room, and so he wouldn't let the boy leave. Now, that's probably something all of us would have done, though. So you can see just how easy it is to get caught up in the system. So, sure. Yeah. I get if it, it. Don't fit, it must have quit. What happened? I said, if it don't fit, it must have quit. Listen, yeah, that's, no, that's part no. of pop culture now. Yeah, that's definitely part of pop culture. Oh, all right. Here, here you go. Pop culture. My now a TV show that I've seen every episode of, mm-hmm. the Dave Chappelle Show. <laughs> that definitely. is part of Black history. Definitely Black history. That is yeah. Black history. And another Absolutely. show that I've seen, it, it, the the uh, Boondocks. Those are two shows that I've seen every wow. episode. Wow, Boondocks. Is so now you want to talk about Black history? That's those, a fact. Those shows oh, change TV. The Chappelle Show. Every show that came after Chappelle Show. Is a carbon copy of it. Yeah. And, but hold on, the Chappelle show was only on for one or two seasons. I was forgetting. It was on for two full seasons. Two full, right. It was on for two full seasons. I think it was the third season. It was a third but, season. It was a third was, season. He wasn't the host on the third season. I mean, I got a black history moment in Living Color. My man put on the whole family. Yeah. Yeah, he, he put did. the whole he put the get old family jobs. He put the whole industry on. He he so many jobs came from in Living Color. Like the, yo, the whole comic scene from like 1995 to like 2005, like 95% of them came from that show. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, Carrey, Jim Carrey blew up after that show. Yeah, Jim Carrey. Yeah, that was his start. Hello? Was Fly Girl? Yeah. 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 Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot of people. I mean, his brother is what uh, the way that Wayne show that had so many things after that. But I think yeah. that happens when we. Oh, no, listen! They made white girls. They they was. But hold on though. He doesn't get celebrated enough for all for for just giving exactly. people because I mean a lot of times it's just a matter of giving folks opportunity. All those Tell people are talented. Yeah. That's why I said Tim Reed, Tim Reed, Robert Townsend, and him Robert don't get enough. Townsend. They don't get enough credit because they were the only people hiring black actors in the eighties and nineties. Oh, hold on, hold on. I want to just acknowledge this. I want to come back to Corey's point. So Clarence Thomas getting acquitted, looking at the destruction he caused after hurting a black woman. That's the Nina Thomas trials. Yeah, I yeah. remember that. Yeah, I, I remember yeah. watching that, like not fully understanding what was going on until later right. on in life, but I definitely remember that. Right. But Corey, to your point, I, I I totally agree. I totally agree. Those folks definitely need oh, and Latoya says and Byron Allen. Yeah, fact, Byron Allen. Fact, yeah, but what I'm saying in, in the 80s and 90s, where there were no roles to be had, Tim Reed, uh, the, the Wayans brothers, Robert and, and Robert Townsend were hiring black people and giving them roles that didn't fit. And then that's what, how you got all of those movies in the 90s with, with, um, with uh, what, what's the, the one with Ricky got shot? Uh, oh my Boys God. In the hood? 
That's yeah, yeah. Exactly. John, that's how you got all those John Singleton and movies and all that I stuff. Think. We, we, oh, we, since we since we talking comedy, I think we all had to give it up the raw, right? Because look at the writers and the producers of Raw with Robert yeah, Townsend. Yeah, yeah. You just marked it. And um Keenan Ivory Range was a part of Raw as well. I can't remember somebody was a I part mean, of the Spike, Spike, Spike Lee was giving cats opportunities too, though. That's yeah, like, he, was. he so you, yeah. you know. But my whole point was you got to when people give other people opportunities, I think that's important to acknowledge. Right. That's one of the reasons we talk about black owned businesses. It's one of the reasons we talk about, um, you know, blacks in politics. Like we give each other opportunities. Yeah. Now, Hollywood, Hollywood Shuffle was Robert Townsend's first film. And it's still one of my favorites to the day. The, yeah, winky, man. the winky dicky you know, dog. Yo, yo, listen, whole cakes. Because oh, I don't understand how funny that movie was, man. Yes. yes. He financed that on a credit card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shout out to credit cards. Yeah. I use bit. I use uh, the line from Big Red all the time when I'm teaching stock. Oh. This. He's like, office hours from nine to five. I said very similar nine thirty nine thirty to four o'clock. But y'all get it, and people will never forget. Yeah. <laughs> Stock market is open. Tell people I got big red office hours. They know All exactly. Right, tell them the movie, Courtney. Tell them the movie. Oh, the five heartbeats. That's yeah. my favorite. That's my. That's, that's my favorite. favorite. That's when my she's favorite movie of all time. She's like Jimmy. Jimmy. You said like second. Jimmy. Second favorite movie of all. What's number one? Number one. I I I can't lie. I'm I'm a big fan of uh, Tombstone. Like I just, I just like everything about uh, them. I'll be your Huckleberry. Yeah, I'll be your Huckleberry. <laughs> I just, but, and then listen, and then it's a, it's a tie for, for after that between Braveheart because I, I, like, I, I like movies where people get sliced and diced. Yes, and, Braveheart. And diced. So, so my dad the, got me hooked on that. It's like a, an anomaly in there, but yeah. I like, you know, I like Tombstone, then the Five Heart Beats. And then Braveheart comes right after that, and then uh, you, Usual Suspects, and so that Ooh, yeah. I your, top, your top five is actually kind of surprising to me. Not that there's anything wrong, I like all those movies, but you know, it's a lot of lot of, right. lot of you know, black movies in them. Yeah, that's that shot. That's very <laughs> shocking. These is, these is beat, but these is movies that in my childhood, you know, I I thought that the plot twist, the the plot twists were like amazing. Yeah, you know what I mean, and yeah. so like. Yeah. I'm influenced by what happened in my childhood, like so. It's not really, you know, like movies I've seen after that. I had a different perspective because I, I had more information and more knowledge. So but, I was kind of pure at that point, <laughs> and so those movies had a different. I, mean, kind I of get effect. it, but like you know, I don't. I mean, no, that's either here or there. I mean, that's, that's your favorite. Like, you can't argue nobody's favorite because right. I like I like all those movies, but those are your favorites. I, this is this is very shocking yeah. to me. I mean, listen, I was in college when when Usual Suspects came out. I was in college, right? And so I saw Usual Suspects every night for two two and a half years. Like every night, that was the movie we would, we would be playing that movie in the background while we would be playing pool when we supposed to be studying. I mean, saying so, we did that, we we was watching Goodfellas, but Goodfellas, um, but House Party is probably like in my top five too. We talk about we talk about. I'm just I'm just, just mentioning something too. Love Jones cannot forget Love Jones. Listen, That's loving funny. basketball. You know, I like all of those movies. Yes, sir. I, I like all of those movies. I, but I, I, love and basketball is okay, but I love Love Jones. That's like it is. I, I, I like Love Jones. Better. I'm gonna tell you which one I like, and no nobody else, nobody's like this. I, I like I like um um the brothers. Uh, what's the joint? What's the I joint? Like with the it? <laughs> I like There was an angle word. I like that. Yeah. Uh, so, the, the brothers with the with the, the four brothers or no. yeah the John the John with um Omar Epps and um uh man Omar Epps. He was the lead, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and, and uh, what's the boy's name from MTV? Um, the I'm soldier lost. dude, the soldier dude. That was a callback right there. Y'all ain't get that. Never mind. Yeah. Um, brother, it was called the bro. Was it called the brothers? Yeah, it's called the brothers. Yeah, it's called the brothers. Wait a minute. So the brothers was um, dang. We we make some movies right now, but I know which one you're talking about. So the brothers was um. Shamar Moore. I actually like that movie. Nobody likes that one though. Bill Bellamy. It was cool. It was cool. It wasn't in my top though. No, yeah. it's not my top five. I'm just saying that's the that's oh, out of that we, out of that we, genre we, of movie. We got oh, to oh, talk about movies. We got to talk about Nino Brown and them. Hold on, Nino, New Jack City. 
come through. Right, hold on, I'm gonna come to that. So, but let's finish because that Jimmy, that's not the movie you was thinking about, was it? The no, wood. it was actually that one. The, the brother. Wood. I wasn't thinking about the, the wood. wood. The, I was wood. The, wood. I was about the wood. That's what I was thinking about. Yeah. No, I was actually yeah. thinking about. I was actually thinking about the brothers. I had the name right. Like, okay, but, so, so it's the brothers, but no one likes that one within that like genre like movie. Right, like right. But I like, I like that one though. Yeah, because it wasn't the greatest Ooh. in that genre, but it was still good. Poetic but that's the thing though. Let's go. Poetic justice. Well, hold on. Hold on. Corey just named a big one. New Jack City. New Jack City. Yeah, that's another movie that sparked a lot of careers. Right. But I think it's a terrible movie, though. It's an absolutely like, terrible. Watching it now is almost like cringe. Right. It's, yeah. like, it's yeah. definitely yeah. Really Listen, terrible movie. You're, you're watching it from a different perspective now. But when I was no. first watching it, I was yeah. like, the writing. I don't. If you have good writing, it lasts the test of time. I want to kill you so bad. My no, right. no but who who wrote that line? I was, I was who wrote that line right there? Prom queen. Listen, listen. Or, or minister society. Listen. First of all, minister society is a movie. Listen. I got a lot of. At the time, people used to think I looked like the dude from minister society. They used to call me. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. No, no. The other boy. The the um. Omar <laughs> No, no not, not Omar. Ain't even there, Omar. You talking about um, you talking about Kane? Kane. Yeah, they used to call, listen. <laughs> he used to call me Kane when the movie was coming out because I had a big, giant box and I had I was skinny as hell, and they used to call me Kane from from Minister Society. Yo, first off, so, I just want to acknowledge something real quick. Can be definitely named a moment that's a top five moment in Black history. Yeah, and can, yes, can be, is. can be. That's absolutely a top five moment. Oh ho, then if we're gonna name battle rap moments, you got it, you gotta name Lux. You gotta put Lux on there because that's that's one of the joints that put battle rap on the on the map. It did. When, when he when he sp- you gonna get this work. You're gonna get this work. <laughs> and he broke him down. He broke him down. I don't so know. That, I don't know if I've seen this one. Oh, uh, that's a top five Man. moment in black history all yeah, around. So can be absolutely right. Yeah, all you right. definitely gotta go. And shot, and shot the Lux. I was actually in the building for that. That I used to I used to cover battle rap, but that's either here nor there. <laughs> Jimmy's had a wild yeah. career, y'all. Uh, listen, man. No, yo, listen, listen no, I got a whole. Listen, it's on YouTube. It's on. Yeah, it's actually on YouTube. Yeah, uh, it's all I documented. I was in the group when you had it. When you put it in the group, yeah, so, yeah. It's I, all. It's all documented. That's the, that's right the great there. thing about living in today. Everything is documented. I was there. <laughs> I wasn't in the building, but I was. I was there. Richard said two people slept on. Don God, Jason's lyrics. Yes. Yes, okay. ma'am. We need all the likes we can get. I appreciate we that. We do. We do. So here's the thing about Jason's lyric. Uh-oh. I was really, wait, 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 wait. But I was literally thinking about this the other day because Black Men United, that song You Will Know, that's a that's its own separate like time in Black history. Like that's definitely yeah. a Black history moment. Because I was it watching is. and I was like, oh my gosh, because all the yeah. people who were singing in there, I was like, and then I was looking to see who passed away since it was done. Right. So I, was Tevin, like, I ain't gonna lie to you, Tevin bodied everybody on that one. He did. No, listen, Tevin, I don't know what happened to Tevin, but we Tevin could have been. I, I don't know. Tevin could have been the, the the next Michael Jackson. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what happened to Tevin. Te- 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 <laughs> Tevin. Tevin. Tevin stopped working with uh with with the God. You know where he found Tevin and, and put all his first songs out. Quincy, Quincy, Quincy Jones. Quincy, he stopped working with Quincy and then he just went. <laughs> but you know what? Hold on, y'all. We gotta pay homage, right? Quincy Jones is a black he's, history. He's the goat. Correct. He's the absolute goat. goat without any question, and is not in yes, second place. Absolutely. It's no, like he's it, it, Quincy Jones and then fifth place. Like. Right. Come on, justice. Let's go. But right, so uh, speaking gotta, of black history yeah. moments in movies. Black History Moment in the movie, the only time I've ever cried in the movie, I was like eight, nine, ten years Coach old. Coach died? No, I was oh, supposed to cry at that one, but it, it was someone dying, but it was it was uh and do the right thing when they choked out yeah. when they when they when they when they when they choked out my man with the rings. Radio Raheem. Radio Raheem, man. Radio Raheem. And, Raheem. and, and that then, movie came out in 1989, I think, or 1989. Yeah, 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 because 1989 is the number. Another song. Yes. I'm sorry, Grant. <laughs> you you want to talk about great? You want to talk about great moments? That that PE album was absolute. I got a moment in Black history. It's hip hop related too. Self destruction is a great. Black yeah, yeah, it is. The movement. That whole movement. I still right, so know all the words to self destruction. <laughs> let's, let's go. Let's hit this one. Karan put up a big one. Two of my favorite Black history moments is a little obscure, and completely unrelated. 
Oh, completely related. April 28, 1992, the peace treaty between the Bloods and Crips in L.A. That was big. It was very big. They actually studied the 1949 armistice agreements between Israel and Egypt. Wow. And I was a child, but I remember it vividly. Yep, that was a big thing. That was big. That was huge. It was seven, I said seven. Do I do I put up a comment about seven that um I actually heard that I don't know how true it is, but that, right. is, that is that is like an urban legend. So this is another good one. Remember the time we talked about this on another show, but it's yes. definitely a history moment. Yeah, yeah it is. Yes. Yes. And then um oh well, Soul Train was just a one long black Soul history moment. Train. Yeah, how about that? How about that? <laughs> Soul Brown Train. Yes, bro. Come on, John. Soul Train was one of the long. I think at the time when it stopped, it was the longest syndicated show in history. Wow. Like, that's, also, that's also Black Wealth. Black man had ownership in it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. like, damn. How you doing, Terry Woods? Uh, thank you for joining us. Living single, yeah. definitely a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Then they ripped it off and called it friends and made. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm shut up. Yeah. Let me, shut up. Let me no, be quiet. No, they made they made buku dollars with that rip off right there. Yeah, they, that was yeah. a complete rip off. Mm. You smoke oh, crack, don't you? <laughs> oh, that's the that's the that's the battle that's rap. The, that's the yeah. battle rap, Joe. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the hot one, right? No, so, no, no, no. That, that's that's okay. the uh, Aver and Hitman and, and Smack DVDs. Now, before we go to Smack DVDs, we used to have two raw from the streets and 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 a big and star. One, big, I would star lived right next door to me at Westchester, and he was actually on our team on the basketball team when I played at Westchester. Star is an absolute animal, man. He put, he brought people together in a way he changed hip hop in a way that he does not get credit for. Because those, like when Two Raw for the Streets, I mean, when when he was doing that, nobody was doing that. Not no, right. yeah. Everybody's not from Philly, so break that down because I, I I agree with you. So Two Two Raw for the Streets was like mixtapes and DVDs, but he put it on film and he would go around. He actually would bring people from around the country, but it was mostly a lot of East Coast rappers. He would go up and down the Eastern Seaboard and bring them together, and then they would have ciphers on camera, and then the the mixtapes, the 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 uh, up. Yeah, the here's a, here's a way to put it, right? So it was post it was post MTV raps and um and, and post the basement and all that. He kind of took the mixtape culture and he documented it. He pretty much was a documentarian when you really want to break it down. He, he took his still, camera. He's still a documentarian. He, he still is to this day, but I think he moved on to like basketball, like high school yeah. basketball or something. But he started that. There is no smack. Smack, smack has said this. Smack has said this on my there platform. Is no there is no without. smack DVD without two raw for the streets because he saw what he was doing and decided to do his own thing in New York. But he would document culture. That's basically what he was doing. Yeah. Um and you know, it, it's it's just it, the thing about it is, this is before YouTube. So in order to get one, you would have to get it out of the streets. He and, just put it on YouTube this year. Yeah, he put it on YouTube this year, so you can really go back and watch how he documented the whole history. He still has the whole history, and he's dropping them um, as he's going along. So if you want to go back and, and and relive that and and see how hip hop took off because of what and he here, did. here's what's crazy. Now he moved to, to the high school basketball, but he started that years ago too. Yeah, he, also, he did. He, he was one of the first people. He was the first one of the first people in that movie. He he has all kinds of amazing footage of Kobe as a high school player. Yeah. All right. So, so we got another one for Karan. So the other one is uh, March nineteen ninety three. Banging on Wax came out. It was a compilation album featuring real Bloods and Crips. They even gave a shout out to one of my uncles during the tribute track. Damn, Karan, you deep in these streets, huh? Yeah. Uh, they went on to create three more albums, and those crews involve uh, maintain peace. Nice, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. All right. So, Courtney, you was you was quiet over there when we started talking about too raw for the street. You, you ain't heard of that. Why are you gonna do that? Yeah, he, he definitely that, put, that he put was, you way out. That was I foul. Wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. That, that, that was foul. Bounds. That was out of bounds. Come on, that was out of bounds. That was a question. That was out of bounds. I got a black history month for you. It's a personal one. I'm about to call Tyrone. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, she's about to call. She's about to call Tyrone. By the way, I put my retort to Tyrone in the chat. Did you share with him? Did okay. you share? With him? I put my retort. I, I don't know if he saw it. I don't know if he saw it. Uh, but, yeah. Yo, but it was amazing. Oh, black History Moment. That Erica, is a Black History Moment. That is Erica Badu performing. That is absolutely a Black History Moment. Yo, because that crowd was Erica rocking. Badu has multiple Black History Moments. Yes, she does. I think Hey Ya is a Black History yes, Moment and by itself. That album went diamond. Yo, that uh, Speaker Box and the Love Below, that song, that, that album went diamond because of one song. The album went diamond because of yeah. one song. 
Yeah. Like Hey Ya was an absolute like that and um what's the what's the the the, the short fat dude with the big fat head that was on um CeeLo Green that that F you song Yo, no no the F you song that joint was yeah. banging for like three years you couldn't Nars, go that, that was that was Nas Barkley that was Nas Barkley listen um Nars, Nars. Yeah, I got a I got a personal one for you. And this is like it's you know, talk about black history. So this is from the family since Courtney won shot picture. So Charlie Devil Gaines, when he joined Louis Armstrong's orchestra, and mm -hmm. people so that's actually my great grandfather was a member of Louis Armstrong's orchestra. Wow. And, oh heavy gangster. So that's a moment in black history. Nice. Oh, that's, dope. that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. That's really dope. Yeah. So y'all can look that up. He got his own Wikipedia page. That's what you edited. <laughs> I didn't edit it though. I'm about to just to put me on there. I'm like, and his, <laughs> and his great grandson. <laughs> I just want to edit it to put me on there. That's, <laughs> that's the only edit that's going that's needed. That's it. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. So that's what I've been doing. I, um, I got caught up before my my debacle earlier. I've been doing my family tree, and. It is. You know, I, I've been wanting to do that. Did you use any kind of software or anything? So I'm using An Ancestry. Like, they, if you if you actually use the paid subscription, you get some access to some really good documents. So I saw my. So my family has been having the Charlie and Louise Richardson family reunion for like seventy some odd years. So Charlie passed away, and his ex name is Charles. Nobody nobody knew that. Um, his name is Charles, and he passed away in 1930. So I saw his death record. And like that was crazy. And then um also was that the one you shared with me earlier? I don't know. Yeah. I saw something that I have like marriage records of my great grandparents. Um, you know, just looking at them has just been really crazy. That's heavy. Yo, that's heavy. When you, it is you go through the, that family tree, that's heavy, heavy. Because I, I got I got a point about that, Courtney. Um, first of all, a uh, shout out to my new frames, like um, because I saw the question, but anyway. No, I'm going to tell you, this is Monica's fault. I had picked these frames up. She was like, those look like Malcolm X frames. I was like, I'll take them. She shouldn't have said, she should, she shouldn't have, she shouldn't have said that. I didn't even care what the price, but she shouldn't have said that. But anyway, um, to your point about looking up your family history. So um, she had paid for that before, and we start asking family questions, right? <laughs> this is talk about a black family. You start uncovering stuff, and folks start getting quiet because, you know, you start going back and like, well, hold on. You said this was your dad, but over here, the birth certificate got somebody else. Yo, your uncle our, cousin, you we got start going, we st yeah, listen, listen, bro. We start going down our family history. It started causing arguments. In fact, folks didn't even want to have them conversations. Big fact. But, but Big you know what's funny, though? Right. A lot of folks get it on a new generation. They call them ratchet. Ratchet been in style. Man, oh, man. you ain't never really? lied. Big facts. Listen, it was it was classy about hiding it though, boy. But you start digging that, that paperwork up and them documents, you start uncovering Woo! all kinds of stuff. Listen, I'm 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 pretty. I, I'm I ain't gonna lie. I'm pretty afraid of what I'm gonna find when I when I actually go through. Because my dad sent me mine from off off of our side because my my dad is like the historian on my father's side okay. because he's the youngest of eleven. But everybody knows my dad, and so. When he asked the information that he gave it to him, but I think that information is a little bit off, simply because it don't it don't all the trust and and you know the the uncle cousins and stuff like that that I was <laughs> talking about. You know, what I mean that you know somebody that was really you know like because a lot of that was going on because back in the day there was a, a lot of shame around teenage pregnancies and mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff, and so you don't get the real stories. Right. right. So you got and when you do the ancestry, Jones. I'm I'm going to back check what he gave me against the ancestry, Bro. so I, but I have a good place to start. I'm just and warning then, you. I'm just warning you that like we start looking stuff up and start causing some arguments in the family. Hey, listen, we I'm found not worried out, about we the found argument. that folks wasn't who they you know who they claim to be. Like you know, them, them birth right. records tell a different story, bro. It sure do. But listen, folks, I think that's a great place to end, right? So look at that: black history, black wealth, black family trees. I mean, how powerful would it be to be able to present not only some money to your folks, to your children, to your children's children, but how huge would it be to present an actual family tree that's documented, right? That's the real big win to me when we talk about Black History Month and Black wealth. There's so much loss. There's so much self-esteem loss. There's so much value. A lot of times people don't see value because we don't know some of the great accomplishments that our forefathers and elders went through.
I mean, I think a family tree would be phenomenal. Um, so I'm glad y'all even brought that up. But I appreciate everybody being here today. Um, again, Black History is not just for the month, folks. This is just a day to cement the ideas, to symbolize it. Black history is every day, everybody. And please continue to create your own black history because every move you make, everything you do is black history. So I'll see y'all later. We'll be back next week, 7 p.m., Black Wealth Project, same Black Wealth channel, same Black Wealth place. Have a great night, everybody. Peace. Bye.